heroes eventually die. Horoscopes often lie, and sometimes lie. Nothing is for sure, nothing is for certain. None lasts forever, but until they close the curtain.
<laughs> but you know, with, without all the ickiness, you know, it's just soft and furry, and underneath her, her beard, I can just, I just know she's smiling for me. It's too much hair for me. You know, my uncle, the lobster man, oh, he, he never hugged me. I would just fall, just slide off. It's, it's my natural mucus. Right, you know, that's what I'm saying. You know, infection, affection is important. I didn't get held the way I wanted to, which, when you're held, you come alive. You, you get heat from the environment, and you just, you can move and live. But, but without that, I'm afraid I just, I've been cold for a season. I think I understand what you're saying. Well, I'm saying I don't want to stay in Seattle. <laughs> you and the beard woman, she has a name, George. <laughs> Whatever. It's not real, you know. It, it is real. <laughs> and even though I'm only two and a half feet tall, I know. It's, she loves me. It's not, it's not the size of the man. It's how big they can just gin their jaw. No, it's what he can do with his prehensile midget penis. <laughs> I don't want to go there, so I can't stick out my <laughs> It's like covering my eyes. <laughs> I get synesthesia. I see what I... That giant man was giant enough for you. <laughs> oh, Henry. <laughs> that was close. That was close. Like the time I caught you. What? <laughs> Henry, <laughs> what are you talking about? What am I talking Henry. about? I'm talking about Seattle. That was a little low, Henry. No, that was just over your ear. What about Seattle? We had That's where your erogenous zone is. That's what you told me on our first date. It, it is. I mean, there's one there and, and one there. Oh. Okay, that that came really close to nicking me, Henry. Oh, I came close to hurting you. <laughs> okay, 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 Audie. Okay, okay. This is all part of the show. It's all part of the show. Oh, Henry. Well, that was a close one. Oh, oh. Does, does it remind you of anything? <laughs> that's a that's a Bowie knife. That's not a throwing dagger. Oh, it's long though. That's a that's a short sword. Oh no, it's, yeah, it's a little bit bigger than what you're used to. <laughs> Is that right? You've never thrown one of those in practice, Henry. No, it's no. all part of the show. I was thinking maybe you were used to something a little bigger. And maybe my regular little daggers are couldn't eat. Enough! <laughs> I forgot to spend you! It's <laughs> <laughs> so part of the show! <laughs> Give her a hand, lady! <laughs> Around me, Corey. <laughs> okay, I'm the lion. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack. Cool. What do you do? Come on, reflect. I'm just reflex. I'm, a, I'm frozen. I, I, I'll be the lion. watching Crocodile Dundee movies. And what you do is you, you insinuate into the, the lion's mind that there's an even bigger lion behind it, that he should be afraid and look around. That's when you kick him in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is foolproof, all right? Sigfield and Roy learned my method. 
Siegfried and Roy. Well, that's the example you're using. They didn't practice the method the way that I had intended it. <laughs> but the theory is sound. I, I don't. All right. You're the best. You were the best line trainer ever to hit Barnum and Bailey. That's right. You goddamn those PETA people. I don't care what they say. It's not cruel. It's cruel to retrain clowns under a work system that. I don't agree with. Oh my. I should be entertaining. Oh, this is a first. A sad clown. <laughs> I'm out of my element. Cora, you are ridiculous. Put, put, put it in a flower suit. Can it ride in a car? What about a unicycle? You know, it, Who ever heard of a lot of bears ride bicycles? Who ever heard of a lion on a unicycle? Here, I'm going to get the whip and show you what it's like. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Look, the whip. If you want the lion to fear the whip, you got to fear the whip. See? Fear, 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 fear. fear. Ah! Ah! <laughs> See, you got some money left, kid. I do, I do. It's true. I have quarter. <laughs> Wow, aren't you just straight from the... I have lots and lots of cotton candy! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Who are you selling? Is it a toy? Is it a bear? I'm selling more than a toy. I'm selling... <laughs> I'm selling an experience. Oh, well, where can the win is? Is thing to go? Oh, oh, you can go in there. <laughs> The Solotron. Solotron, I didn't have one of those. I oh. My friends are being a little Solotron. Ah. Well, why don't you go right in? Oh. What's in there? Here's all my tickets. Ah. 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 What's in here? The Solotron. Whoa! Oh. It's very bright. Oh. Dark and bright. Step up and step up. <laughs> You are in the Solotron. I am in the Solotron. Ah, ah, you are one of the ah, lucky few. Step back against the wall. Okay. Ah, Feel the presence of its dark, tragic creator, Sergei von Rustov, ah, who died in its construction. Ah, spooky, I guess. Hey, you like horses, kid? Yeah. This kills horses. Why do horses? <laughs> you love. How does it kill horses? Ah, by showing them their true self. No! <laughs> yes! No! Me! Me! It's killed thousands of horses. <laughs> What's it gonna do to me? Look into the soul of every horse ever that ever lived! Oh! Oh! That's a big one, Wilbur. <laughs> Inside the whole the soul of a horse, ladies and gentlemen. First inside the soul of a horse is a little girl. <laughs> a little girl about 13 years old. What's inside of the soul of a horse is a little girl and a little boy. They are gone the road. Horses, you know, of course, they're the source of love and also source of weed. Yeah, you can build the box that shows you the soul, but you can also see into the back of the soul. Horses are cool and horses are neat, and according to Remington Park, the, the world's fastest athletes. I wish a horse would take me away, I can ride for my day and not just ride away. A horsepower is 746 watts. What? Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> My horse only has one horsepower. They made that up so that things would sound more powerful than they were, you know, when they push off the ground, huh? They made that up. The thing about horsepower, it's an arbitrary unit. <laughs> they make them run round and round. Horses above the ground. I think there's a little horse inside of me. Oh, Winnie! 
Who rides horses? The horseless horseman. That's right, he has no hood, no head, of course, man. He's running after Ichabod Crane, swinging around and shouting his name. Oh, I only got one horsepower. I only got one horsepower. Can only run for three or four hours. <laughs> I just got one horsepower. You can ride a horse, but not through the ice. You need a team of dogs to do that right. You can ride a horse, but not onto the moon. You need a large wooden cannon or lots of balloons. You can ride a horse, but not in the deep sea. You need a submarine like Alex number three. You can ride a horse, but not in outer space. Cause the vacuum will explode the base. Ride a horse through the black hole, but you first you must look into the horse's soul. One horsepower, one horsepower, one horsepower. Inside the horse, there's a little girl. <laughs> we all love horses. Clap if you love horses, ladies and gentlemen. Here. The fastest steed in all the seven kingdoms. Yes, I just wish that my my optic nerve had not been severed with the last fight with the noble savages. The just, noble savages. Describe it to me. I can only smell it. What am I seeing or smelling? <laughs> I see you experience synesthesia like a snake. <laughs> yes, my legs do not work as well as they used to. That's okay. We've been changed by our journeys. You're right. Magellan, hold graceful Archaeopteryx, the stillest horse. <laughs> yeah. Gibraltar, <laughs> my loud companion snail. <laughs> Here at the, at the edge of forever, the, in the city on the edge of forever. We are so original, Magellan. <laughs> this life can only be bounded by imagination. A very short sidewalk. <laughs> We've made it to the end, and I'm, I'm no longer a little girl. You're not. No, you're not, and I'm no longer the snail that I was. I wasn't aware you had another stage of life. You're, you're, you're a mollusk. We learned that back in the land of museums. <laughs> yes, my travels have changed me. They changed you? But the curator said that What's he was lying to you! <laughs> oh, why would the curator hide facts of life from me? <laughs> but tell him the, the, the it chosen was not girl. for you to know. <laughs> well, I learned a lot about life from watching Archaeopteryx. He's not, you know, gilded or anything. It's happening. <laughs> oh my god, you're turning into a slug butterfly. <laughs> yes. I, I help you, but I can't touch your wings. They, you wouldn't be strong enough. Servant, I have to defend you. 
That's why you're eating my flowers. <laughs> <laughs> Here, some of my sweat rags. <laughs> what? Someone said all this food? Forget sweat rags. We're eating tonight. So handkerchief and everything. I must have an admirer. A magician, too. Oh, it's so good. Is that domain? Mmm, my favorite. Oh. A nipple that squirts soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> You're no ordinary servant, no. I knew that about you. By the way. I see you, and I'd like you to work on the prep table this morning. On the prep table? <laughs> okay. I'd like you to be physically there in front of the station working on it. I can only see the customers eye to eye if I'm on the table. <laughs> You're really here to see the cocktail waitresses and short black things, and not a short okay. black guy. No, yeah, I get it. No, I get it. You see me. Visually, that's what you're going to do. The first thing you think about me is what I am visually. No, I just think that you come up with all sorts of crazy excuses to get out of work. I? I thought I had AIDS. Sebastio's act? If you sat through his act, don't sit on the front row. You might get AIDS. Right, so and now you don't have AIDS, so... No, no AIDS. Okay, so there's nothing stopping you from working. There is. I'm not waving a knife at you. Ha! Ha! Ah. Who? <laughs> How's it feel? Huh? Am I taller now? Dogs see things larger when they're intimidated. Are you intimidated? I'm not a dog. <laughs> then put down the knife. I wasn't asserting that you were. Hey, hey, hey. Have you seen El Rubio? Have you seen the way he, he's throwing the knives really hard at Marlena? Throwing them really hard. I saw that. It was really disconcerting. Yeah. What's so what are we gonna do about it? We're, no, nothing. You're, we're gonna we're gonna make food for the. No, we always gotta hook people up. We always hook up. We hook up the summer interns. We hook up the kids who run away after they see the soul of horses. We hook them up. We make love happen. All oh, right, fine. Put some Xanax in, in El Rubio's burger. But first, you have to make the burger. <laughs> oh, the old Xanax trick. Yeah, we were gonna, you know, figure out what they like. Do it Shakespeare style. I, I can woo. I can hide in the bushes. I'll do my my, my poetry is guaranteed. Poetry is guaranteed. I'll sit on your shoulders. You wear a big cape. You'll be so intimidating and handsome. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm a midget. Women, I find, I think that women think that tall, tall you are the more attractive. I have a messed up scale. I, I see the world a strange way. That's why I'm on the table. I want love. I want someone to have love. I'm going to go let Mel Rubio practice throwing knives at me. <laughs>
grandfather's name was Barbosa. Barbosa. It means beer. <laughs> like to be a bearded lady. Shave one third less often. You count the legs as one and the face as another and the small the, I get I get it. I get it. I get it. <coughs> well what about that uh that midget? He seemed likable. He is He's fine. He brought He's me fine. flowers after Henry nearly severed my carotid artery. Oh, did he say they were from, he said they were from, from Henry, didn't he? He did. It was very sweet, but Henry knows that not to ever talk to me again. <laughs> you can't blame the guy for trying. Midget or Henry? Any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I did cheat on a knife-throwing maniac to swallow his fire. So you could say that about any relationship. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to find love in the circus. Right up. When the lights come to the circus comes into town and everybody from all around gets in a gown or a nightdress or shorts or shoes or sandals or any other clothing that you choose. Come on get down. a break up the elephant. As hot as the summer is, I never forget. Gonna stampede all over the place. I tickle my, your trunk with my face. So many youthful experiences to embarrass at the top of the ferries or other places. Yes, it's time to hold her hands. Time to become a man at the circus. Clowns below and monkeys below. Under the big top, finding love. Clowns below, monkeys above. Under the, the big top, to find some love. Uh, you can throw knives at me that will get me with that high anxiety. You'll get my blood pumping, get my adrenaline up. Suddenly, I want to fall into you. Huh. I ain't scared of all that makeup. It's time to get in here and have a little shake up. Bearded lady and midget, bring the drinks. This party's going to the brink. It's a three ring circus, don't know what's going down. So many feelings, tastes, and smells that I found. I stick my tongue out, I go out on a limb. Suddenly, I'm kissing the snake boy, not him. Oh, clowns below and monkeys above. Get under the big top and find some love. Say clowns below, monkeys above. Get under the big top, find some love. Tame a tiger, tame your feelings, can you tame it? You'll need a whip or a day to explain it. Sit down with your boy and have a talk. You might end up on death row or a carnage by chalk. Get inside the cage, run a motorcycle round. When the circus comes town, we get down. We get down. <laughs> One, two, three, four, clowns below. Monkeys above, get under the big top and find some love. Clowns below, monkeys above, get under the big top and find some love. Surf the soleil, I'm so lonely. I don't understand anything you say. It's gibberish. And I'm afraid of clowns, but there's no reason to not get down. You might be afraid of clowns, but that's no reason to not get down. Everyone dancing in strange abstract dance troops, I think I don't look as good as them. Everyone has muscular features, they look like statues. What have I got? Ooh, clowns below and monkeys above. So Don't the big top and get some love. I'm so clowns lonely. Below, monkeys above. Don't
when people will do anything to feel weightless. I, I know. And, We've just gotten so desperate for ticket sales, we thought, let's combine the trapeze with the motorcycles and the flaming jugglers. And we train the clowns to tame lions. <laughs> See the one of them? <laughs> he, uh, he really liked beating the, the lion. He, he screamed at it. <laughs> <laughs> then he started whipping himself. And you know, for a second before the lion crushed his skull with its teeth, the crowd was really <laughs> into it. <laughs> That was like the saddest. But let's watch Buster Keaton keep a straight face through that. I mean, that's entertainment. <laughs> you know, when we joined up, you know the ride? Yeah. Solo trot. It's like looking into a soul of a horse. It's exactly like that. <laughs> I saw its soul, and you saw its soul, and I knew that we saw it in the same way. We never went back to Seattle. We never did. But the show will go on. There was a midget in the kitchen. He's going to replace the knife thrower. He's really good with knives. I don't think anyone's pressing charges. No. That's good. Sebastio is calming everyone down. Yeah, I mean, no one's really gonna miss the clowns. The lions are well fed for a week. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a mess, but do you think now would be the time to, I don't know, introduce another act under the big top? <laughs> Why not? Another, like a, a tiny act. It's sort of a bungee act for a little while, and then, <laughs> and then sort of a loud crying act. It's Is it dangerous? Spelling. Probably the most dangerous thing we'll ever do. Is there skin? Hopefully. <laughs> Will it sell tickets? Eventually. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's have a baby. What? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. I need some baby making music. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, wait, is this baby making music? Good enough. Yeah. You, you want that? You like this? Turn it up. Oh. Oh. Tonight's the night. I hit you with the parasite. In nine months, you'll be screaming, play my cards right. Oh yeah, girl, I'm locking onto you. Tell you, tell you what exactly I'm gonna do. You throw a pass at me, I missed it. Welcome to the Red District. That's where we are right now. Just pretend that it's Amsterdam, and I'll tell you how. On the cobblestone streets, they got drugs and prostitutes and everything you need to get in the mood, the right attitude. Move into the groove like a record made for you. Ooh, now what you gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna find the exact right drug, and then I'm gonna fit inside you so nice and snug, and then I'm gonna give you a great big hug, and then I'll feel your mucus plug. I like it when people feel me, they hug me up. Yeah, that intimacy thrills me. A bearded lady needs that, cause I get her people off. Am I fat? No. I got midgets all over the place. I got the snake boy creeping round my face. Uh, elephants trumping every time that I blow. I'm a circus orgy hero. I don't know if I signed up for that. As I said before, you think I'm fat? I got, I got a beard and no one comes near me. But you're not a fear to me. You truly see me. Not like a midget who is visually small. But like a woman who is herself strong, so like and tall. Not like the woman that you see me today. But when you see me 20 years from now the same way, there's a problem with the way that we interact. I think you just want to be a dual act. Settle down, maybe leave this town. Oh no, you fell in love with the wrong clown. with the wrong clown. He got the shoes and he got the walk and he got the nose and where do you suppose he got maybe one day he'll start to talk. 
that will be a shock. <laughs> the wrong clown, the wrong clown. You fell in love with the oh, oh. I can never settle down with the wrong clown, the wrong clown. He'll rock my world and he's leaving town. But I'll still get you pregnant and run away. <laughs> child growing up with anything in the circus, you know? There's, 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 there's bias and prejudice, and it's, it's some form of racism if you count carnies as a separate race. But we named, you named our child Pinocchio. That is a great name. It is not a great that name. That is a fantastic name. What about Robert? Did you lie to me when you said you liked Pinocchio? I, <laughs> I did a concept. <laughs> That's, oh, you're doing, oh, because I lied. He could have been his middle name. <laughs> All right, fine. Be a man. You brought a. You, you have a life. We're not. We're, we are cheating death. It is exciting. We might fall. I can go on. <laughs> It's too late to convince you. You're not a, you're not a sucker for this like I am. You know? Don't you want normalcy? A home? A picket fence? It's my home. If there's not lion sweat in the air, some piece of Marlena's ear on the ground, <laughs> like kids frizzing out of their mind on cotton candy, Midgets in love? If there's a life it. without that, I don't know what that is. There's not posters for that. No one's talking that. Yes, it is. Look at American television. Television? I've been watching. I mean, just a little bit. Oh, well, bit. let me run away. The television. <laughs> Fit in on television. Nothing but conformity on television. I was thinking we could move to L.A. I could find work in dream sequences. They have midgets. <laughs> yeah, but I hear they're making a sequel to Willow. Terry Gilliam's only going to be alive for so long. They have to stop making movies with midgets with it eventually. No, they don't! I just heard they're making Terror in Tiny Town 2. Tumbleweed tots. <laughs> You know, you're gonna finally pull on your Warwick Davis connection. Is that what you're gonna do? Look, all no, I'm saying I'm is gonna I gave him the idea for Leprechaun. I don't know if he's ever forgiven you for that. <laughs> but Leprechaun 4, in the hood, was good. <laughs> had a very strong soundtrack. Good <laughs> <laughs> every night. What do you want me to do? Lower my voice and be a drag queen? <laughs> no, at least you make some money that way. I'm oh, sorry. Give me a hug. You funny things before you say you're sorry. Excuse me. You little shit. <laughs> Very 
bitch. <laughs> you, you, you mini asshole. <laughs> you mangy blob. You small fry. <laughs> you folliculated femme fatale. <laughs> you microscopic machismo. Watch out for all of the cheating wives. You wanna find your throat get cut. You wanna find a midget in your butt. A midget in your butt, yeah. They're crawling out just like Leprechaun 4, yeah. Warwick Davis, he's here to say this. Someone save me! Under the big top, things getting funky. Like sucking blood from a heroin junkie. You never know who might have AIDS. You all have AIDS! They're creeping on you like a bearded lady. You're looking at her apple apple, is she maybe? But you'll never find that out till the very end. Before she's your best friend. Now watch out here, come the carnies. And I don't want to sound alarmist. But they're coming into your town to burn a motherfucker down. Watch out, watch out, here come the carnies. Put them all together, they form an army. From the lobster boy to the snake boy's daddy. The colonies are coming to get me. I watched the bearded lady shave up night, late night, and I was at a rave with the snake boy. I'm sucking on my ball sack. That's right, what you think about that? Extend your jaw to extend your imagination. The snake boy needs no in introduction. Yo, he does his thing. He tastes while he sees and he sees while he plays out. Oh. Horny midgets everywhere. I've never seen a woman with so much hair. Circus. It's so fantastic, boy, that dude's really elastic. Watch out, watch out, here come the carny. Put them all together, then they form an army. Watch out, watch out, here come the carnies. And they're coming all after me. Yo, no one really, really ever understands. And I'm a carny, yo, I got small hands. Been in the same pool for generations. Have powers to smell and regeneration. You'll never, ever win the very best prize. Cause you can't see the distorted hoop with your eyes. All the games are real. And my pants are tight Yo, it's circus night Yo, when they pack their stuff up And they are gone All that's left with you Is the Disney Solotron You stare to the soul of a horse And of course Your life changed course Cause you went to the source The deepest, darkest well Of the darkest mammal That's right, the horse Is the darkest mammal You ride it into The darkness of your soul And then when you're done You'll probably explode Watch out, watch out Here come the colonies Put them all together Then you form an army Watch out, watch out, here come the colonies. Put them all together, they form an army. Oh, but this evening ain't over yet. Cause you're talking to the best two colonies yet. We're gonna indoctrinate you into our ways. We're gonna get you out of audience melees. Sometimes I'm a lobster and sometimes I'm a snake. And sometimes I go night like you want sleep or awake. Sometimes I'm the woman who does not bleed. I'm the spider boy, I'm the man-sized weed. Now it's up for you to all decide if you can look in the place that you thought you hiding. Stand up, don't want to attack an army. Oh my gosh, you're the new Carney Army. Watch out, watch out, you are the Carnies. Put you all together, you'll 